Welcome to the movie Perception of Audio. This is the function generator. This is the audio amplifier. This is the loudspeaker. This is the lamp module. This is the battery supply for the function generator. 6 volts and these two are the battery supply for the audio amplifier 6 plus 6 12 volts. This voltage is measured by this meter. Audio amplifier supply voltage is measured by this meter. This is the oscilloscope probe which is connected to a laptop. Here you have three wires. This is ground, this is channel 1, this is channel 2. So connect all this as per the connection diagram given in the manual. Function generator has a plus connected to plus. This has a minus negative connected to minus. Similarly audio amplifier plus to plus and negative to negative. And the output sine wave connected to the input of the audio amplifier at the same time input of the lamp module. Refer to the connection diagram. Similarly connect this wire to select the sine wave. Sine wave only we are going to demonstrate now. This is the close up view of the brain board. You can see the connections, how it is connected. Just leave this plus not unconnected. Similarly this plus unconnected. Now start the demonstration. Connect the plus wire of the function generator. The sign wave is shown here. The LED lamp also glows. Connect the audio amplifiers plus wire. The sound comes here. Now the audio frequency is 1000 Hz which is displayed here. You can change the frequency now. Now 500 Hz. This is the sine wave signal. This is the frequency. This is the spectrum of the 500 Hz signal. Now further reduce it. If you put your ears close to the speaker, you can uh, also listen. No further radios. 20 hertz. By touching the cone paper, you can sense this. At the same time, just watch the LED. It's flickering. Further radios it. This is 10 hertz. You can touch it and then feel the from the feel it from the contact of vibration. You can see the LED is blinking. Further reduce it. This is nearly 1 hertz, which cannot be displayed here. But here you can see the waveform slowly going up and down. Also, the light is varying in the sinusoidal equation according to this. So this is 1 hertz. Now let us go back to 1 kilohertz. Can I just go 
Go to four kilohertz. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As the frequency increases, the audio frequency reduces automatically. Now this is ten kilohertz. You can see it's a very sharp tone coming out. Now increase it further. Eleven, twelve. Some people can hear about twelve also. Even though the audio frequency is twenty up to twenty kilohertz, only very few can listen to these sounds. Fifteen. Now it is 15 kilohertz. The audio quality is very poor. Further increase it. 18 kilohertz. There is a limitation of this oscilloscope. It will not listen above 18 kilohertz. So at 18 kilohertz itself, the audibility is poor. Even though our ears are uh, specified to hear 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, not everyone can listen to this highest signal frequencies. There are limitations. Some can listen, some can hear, some cannot. Everyone can easily hear up to 12 kilohertz. Go back to 1 kilohertz. This is the adjustment of the amplitude. By reducing the amplitude, you can see the sound becomes down. Here also the amplitude goes down. By increasing Sound increases at the same time amplitude here also increases. So y axis is amplitude, x axis is period or frequency. What by one by t is frequency. X axis is period. You can see as the frequency is reduced. As the frequency is reduced, the period increases. If the frequency is increased, the period reduces. So you can measure the period here also. Set it to thousand hertz again. Now, on the counter model, select period meter. So one milliseconds. One millisecond is thousand hertz. We have the option of selecting frequency or period over here. Similarly, on the scope, you have the option of zooming it. Amplitude, you can zoom it here, or you can reduce the amplitude. Similarly, number of cycles. What you can see on the scope can be adjusted by adjusting the milliseconds per division. And this is triggered by triggering this. The waveform is stable. If you don't trigger, the waveform will be moving. See now it is not triggered. Trigger level is this, which is more than the amplitude of the wave, so the wave is not stable. So trigger it so that it will stop. Now you have triggered the wave. This level is called the trigger level. You can set it anywhere you like. 
Now we can trigger, trigger the wave from here. The wave is starting positive and going negative, positive, negative like that. We can trigger it on the negative side also. Now the wave starts from the negative and goes positive. If you trigger it with positive, it starts from positive. If you change the trigger level, it triggers from that level. See, the wave is triggered from here so that you get the display. So this is about the basics of the scope and this is the spectrum analyzer. Here x axis is period, y axis is amplitude, here x axis is frequency and the y axis is amplitude. So now you change the frequency, it's moving. 370 means here it will display 370 hertz. If it is 1 kilohertz, the spectrum is displayed at 1k. So this is spectrum analyzer, this is scope, this is frequency meter. Make use of this and you can conduct so many different experiments using this setup and you can learn a lot. Thank you very much for listening to this movie.